Hello there, Craig here. Today we're having a look at the Turnergy Accucell 6, which is a combined uh, battery charger for uh, light polymer or LiPo, lithium polymer batteries, uh, nickel metal hydride and lead acid batteries and NICADs and uh, all sorts of stuff. You can uh, see it all written down there. Uh, what we're looking at today is how to um, calibrate the charger. Uh, that's the first thing we'll have a look at and then we'll very quickly just go into uh, how to actually set up the charger to uh, charge lithium polymer batteries because uh, that's what most people involved with uh, helicopters will be into. Um, Alright, first thing we need to do is actually calibrate the charger. That is to ensure that uh, the voltage that it's sensing from a battery pack is uh, actual voltage, is the correct voltage I should say. Um, what uh, Turnergy have done is uh, made it so that you can actually calibrate the unit, which is a, a very good thing. So you can actually calibrate and make sure that what it's giving you is an accurate reading. Uh, and that way then you don't end up frying yourself or uh, you know any explosions from uh, LiPo batteries or anything like that. So I've got my LiPo here and it's got its Dean's plug connector on the end. Uh, the first thing you need to do is um, get yourself into the calibrate menu of the charger. Um, just to familiarize yourself with it, on this end we have uh, the charge leads there and we also have the uh, balancer connectors there on the side. The one that we'll be using is the 3S which is this one right here which is the uh, uh, 3 cell 11.1 volt um, lithium polymer connection. There it is there. First thing we need to do is actually check that uh, the voltage the charger is telling us it's reading from the battery is actually correct. And the best way to do that is to go into the calibrate menu. The way you do that, it's uh, fairly simple. I'll just try and do this. I've only got one pair of hands here. You uh, basically just hold your finger on the start, which is this button here, and the status. While turning, the, uh, while turning the power on. So I'll do that now. Okay, the charger comes up with Turnergy on the screen. Keep your fingers down and there you go. We're now in the calibrate menu. Now what you need to do is, uh, oh, that's not working too well is it? That's okay, we'll sort this out. What we need to do then is actually connect your battery to the Dean's plug, uh, if that's what sort of connector you have. And what that will do is actually give you a voltage reading there, which is the overall voltage out of the cell. So 12.60 volts showing me there. 12.60 volts. I imagine that's a little bit high, so I think the, char the charger will need some calibration. Just to confirm that, we'll unplug, oops, we'll unplug the uh, Dean's plug. Then what we'll do is we'll go to uh, the trusty multimeter here, put it on to uh, DC volts. Now be careful here, you do not want to short out these two connectors. Uh, that will uh, really be a very bad day if you do that. So uh, we need to put that in there, and we'll put that in there, and then I'll just check the uh, multimeter. And yeah, like I suspected, it is a little bit high. So it's actually 12.58. So what we need to do is calibrate the, uh, the Turnergy battery charger to actually show 12.58 volts. And that's very simple. We'll just reconnect that back again. And uh, you can see there, okay, 12.6. All you do is just hit the negative button down here, and you'll see what happens when I do that. You'll see on the left, there you go, minus, drops down, keep going, there you go. Yeah, if I go down to 7, it drops down to 12.57. So 12.58, there you go, minus 6 is correct for me. Uh, so now the charger is now showing the same uh, voltage level in the battery as what was actually on the multimeter. Then all you need to do is just hit your start button. The charger will go save, restart, 